proud Africans. Thank you for staying with us so far at Awini Unity Platform. We are back again with the news in full. African Pride by the name Morocco have released their AFCON qualifiers squad as well to face Gabon and Lesotho coming up on the 15th and 18th of November 2025 respectively. The squad is actually comprising of immense players, very, very talented players with the likes of Ashraf Hakimi, Sofia Amrabat, as well as Brahim Diaz of Real Madrid. But I'm not really happy. I am very sad because I am meant to understand from the look of things in the squad that Hakim Ziyech has not been called up. Hakim Ziyech has not been included in the squad. And of recent, actually, he's facing psychological and emotional trauma as he has been excluded from the Galatasaray squad just 5th of November 2025, just this week. And then again, he has also been excluded from the Moroccan national team, which is very, very sad. And I am actually feeling for Hakim Ziyech right now, and all our love and support goes to him right now and his family. Senegal as well, without much delay, have released their squad to face Burundi and Burkina Faso in the upcoming AFCON qualifiers. They are going to play their match on the 14th as well as on the 19th of November 2024. And they are fully ready with immense talented players with the like of Pepe Mensa as well as Sadio Mane, Nicholas Jackson. These guys are fully prepared to take on Burkina Faso and Burundi and are already they have already made the top of their group and they are looking forward to run away with it into the Morocco AFCON in 2025. Good news, good news, good news. Fellow Africans, good news to you and good news especially to the DR Congo citizens as we have just received reports that Charles Mbemba, who is a player of DR Congo as well as playing for the French top club side Olympic Marcel, has been added to the nominated list of the African Player of the Year Award. Yes, Chancel Mbemba plays for Olympic Marcel, like I said, in the French League, and he has been outstanding, magnificent, proficient, very, very clinical and strong. And his hard work has proven him right by him now being included in the CAF Player of the Year Award, which is outstanding. I am so happy and proud of Chancel Mbemba, as well as all the DR Congo citizens. So, my lovely people, fellow Africans, we are rounding up the news today by this image. This image is actually an image of an African player mesmerizing with the FC Barcelona goalkeeper. I'm talking about no any other person but Silas Katumba, a particular player playing for Red Star Brigade in the Serbian League division. He is actually a Congolese international, very, very good and clinical. And he has scored a goal on Wednesday in the UEFA Champions League against Barcelona. And he has been outstanding for Red Star Brigade. And this picture have actually proven that, yes, he is a hardworking player. And very soon, he's going to make it up to the spotlight. Congratulations to Silas Katumba again for his wonderful goal against FC Barcelona, as well as all the Congolese citizens on this platform. The popular Nigerian by native Samu Omorudon, who is actually playing for FC Porto, a top striker as everybody knows him because he has scored Manchester United twice. Yes, he is a very, very good player right now and he has come out in an interview with Maka to say that he actually acknowledges the sacrifices of his mother towards his early upbringing and he will never forget the struggle they have gone through in order to make sure ends meet and for him to be where he is today. He said his father never really contributed much to his life and therefore he's actually bearing his father's surname which is Omar Dion. But right now he's thinking of swapping surname from Omar Dion where everybody knows him with to Agehoa, which is actually his mother's surname. Do you think Omar Dion is saying the right thing? Do you think Samu Omar Dion is doing the right thing by changing his own father's surname into his own mother's surname? Or do you think he's actually not making the right decision? Drop your opinion in the comment section. The Nigerian female club by the name Edo Queens, who have qualified for the CAF Women Champions League, have come out online to flaunt their beautiful faces, showing how they are smiling, all smiles, happy to go for the CAF Champions League match in Ethiopia. 
and they are looking forward to play a very very good game in order to perform exceptionally well and try to bring the trophy back home so my people that is the news for now please go nowhere like i always say continue to follow us here at awini unity platform as we dig in and dig out to bring you the best african football news ever go nowhere we'll be right back one love